It only takes three things to make this beautiful amber glass containers. And I'm gonna show you that today, as well as how to make this really adorable realtor gift. It's all coming up, so stay tuned. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. She made what is the playlist that I'm participating in today with these 12 other awesome creative creators. And I'm going to have a link to all of their channels in the description box below, as well as to the playlist. I really want you to check it out because I've already had a sneak peek a couple at a couple of their videos. They're awesome already. So I know you're going to want the inspo that you can get from these ladies. So please check it out. Links will be below. I'm taking this food gel dye color stuff and I'm taking some Mod Podge as well as these glass containers. This one I got at Dollar Tree and this one I got at the thrift store, I think. Maybe I got it at Dollar Tree on sale. I can't remember now. So I'm taking some Mod Podge. You also can use glue, just like regular school glue or whatever. I've never tried it that way. I've always just used Mod Podge and I am putting that in contain into a container, mix it up with a bit of the gel. I used the brown color. Some people use red, green, and yellow. I didn't, I used brown. I've seen some people use copper as well because I looked at a lot of different videos and blogs and stuff to try to get like the best of the best tips and tricks on how to do this. So I mixed it all up and then I poured it into one of my containers and some people will add water to it so that it like swirls around the cup a lot or glass container a lot better. I did not. I just made more and of course the ratio was different than the first time I made it but that's okay and so I added it all to the container and I'm just swirling it around. You can see there's like a, a big gap where I've missed you know putting this mixture and I just keep going around and around. This did create some air bubbles inside and I was trying to pop those air bubbles, didn't work. And so then I pour the rest of the stuff into the other glass container and I'm gonna start swirling that around in a bit. I'm still swirling this other one around. And like I said, just trying to make sure everything is coated. And can you see the, I don't know that you can see the bubbles. Maybe I'll show, let me show you a show. Let me show you a show. Let me show you a close up of the air bubbles. So here I'm swirling it around, swirling. There we go. Come on, stop, oh, stop. Look, there they are. See those like little dot looking things on the inside? Kind of like you're looking at stars in a galaxy or something. Those are the air bubbles. When I add more mixture to the container and swirl it around some more, it does take care of like nearly all of them. So maybe I just needed more mixture. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm pouring the mixture into both containers. And on the left there, you're going to see I have a piece of cardboard and on top of that, I have some wax paper. And on top of that, I have four popsicle sticks. See, I'm just placing the container upside down on the popsicle sticks. Uh, later on, I don't know if I show you this, but I, I do flip them back up and it creates some drip marks, but you can avoid that. But just let it, let them drain like that. I did go, they say to let it drain at least two hours. I let mine drain actually overnight and I periodically checked on it and kind of wiped around the mouth of the container just to kind of make sure it wasn't just getting all goopy and everything. Now I'm trying to make a lid for these containers and I had these, I had this like leftover ribbon spool from the ribbon. I had some wood pieces and then I found this candle, a uh, lid to a candle that I have, I have two of them actually, and it fit perfectly on the smaller container. So I am just roughing it up because it felt like it had some sort of coating on it or whatever. I'm just roughing it up so that I can paint it and I'm going to paint it black, but then I changed my mind later and I'm pretty sure I show you that, but I'm just using some craft paint, um, Waverly or folk art craft paint in the color black and just giving it a coat all over. Now, because I did kind of turn it over as it was drying, you can see the drip marks there. And yeah, you can avoid that by not flipping it back up. Just let it drain all the way down and you can kind of scrape around the mouth of your container to keep it kind of neat if that's what you want to do. I was going to take some like rub and buff type stuff. It's not rub and buff, but anyway, whatever it is, it's dried out. So I couldn't use it. I was like really disappointed because I thought rub and buff would look pretty on this, but I decided to go ahead and paint the top gold. So I just took some metallic paint and started painting. Now keep in mind, these containers are not going to be food safe. You're not to put any, don't put any food in there. Actually don't put really anything in there because it could like scratch it and scrape it. And 
surely don't put any water in there because <laughs> the water will probably reactivate the Mod Podge and cause everything to kind of start to melt and stuff. And that's, that wouldn't be cute. That would actually not be cute at all. I was going to make a top or a lid for this one and I just really couldn't find one that really fit well. I did end up taking a spool from um, some thread that I had thread, <laughs> some ribbon that I'd used the entire spool of and I was going to make a lid for it. I did make a lid for it, but I'm, I'm not going to put a lid on it. I'm just, I think I'm going to put in some like dried um, grass or dried flowers or something like that in there and just leave it like that. But this, um, it was fun making it. Again, it's not food safe, so please don't, don't um, use it for food or anything like that. Don't put water or liquids or anything in it. Just use it as decor only. I'm using it as a back filler on my tiered tray. Now, actually making them for fall. So how about that? Me getting ahead of the game here. And as you can see, I'm painting that other lid gold, but I end up not using it because I just really, I didn't want a lid on it after all. I forgot to tell y'all. So after you let it drip and drain for at least two hours, if not overnight, like I did, you're going to pop it in the oven for two hours at 200 degrees. Okay. So it's basically what they call a slow or low oven. And you're just going to let it kind of bake. I did mine upside down and I recommend that. It didn't help with my drip marks, but that's what I recommend. So 200 degrees, two hours upside down and just periodically check on it just to make sure it's okay. This is how they turned out. I absolutely love them. I think they are beautiful. Even with the drip marks, I think they are beautiful and I think they're going to look adorable on my tear tray. I just really am excited. I'm going to be using these for fall. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I'm going to be using these for fall. And so I'm just getting a little ahead of the game and practicing making this super easy amber glass. So I'm ready for more projects. All right. This DIY is super cute, super easy, and it would make a great gift if you have a friend that's a realtor. I'm a realtor and I'm giving it to a friend. If you're watching, then you know it's coming to you. <laughs> Leave me a comment, Jess, if you're watching this. So, um took this glass and it, it comes with the, I don't know why I didn't show you the glass before I did this, but it comes with a straw and a little top to it. And I just cleaned off the glass with soap and water. And then I cleaned off the area that I was going to be using with an alcohol, um, with the alcohol and a lint free cloth and to prep my space. And then I made this little decal. It says coffee contracts, closings, hashtag realtor life. And, uh, just, I'd seen it online somewhere and I thought I can make my own. Look, I even mess up here y'all. So I have to take off the E and I'll add that back in later. You don't notice it. You don't notice that it messed up really. And it's probably not perfectly straight, but you know what? You know, a lot of things aren't perfect in life. So cough <clears throat> and contracts, closings, hashtag realtor life. Just to add that back on there, easy peasy. It just takes a little bit of finagling to get it where it needs to be. Super easy to make y'all. And you could make these for teachers you could like just change up the words and of course make it for a teacher make it for nurses make it for you know your local school crossing guard you could make a ton of these super easy and inexpensive this little glass thing was only a dollar 25 i mean that's a deal and then you know cut out some vinyl the bottom didn't hardly cost me anything either so i'm just adding a little bit of colored stuff so you can kind of see what it says and this is how it looks all finished out I think it's adorable and I think I need to make one for my own, but mine needs to say hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee. And then it would say hot chocolate contracts and closings. It doesn't have the quite the same ring, but you get the idea. If you can think of another saying I should put on there, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for joining me while I craft and create, and I hope you like what I made today. Please, please, please leave me a comment below. Tell me what you liked. Tell me if you have any tips or tricks that might help me in my crafting journey. Don't forget, check out the playlist, check out my other pals that joined me today. It was a lot of fun and I, I just can't wait till y'all see their videos as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or something, my handle is Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!